Next, we're gonna talk about validating your personas. So the idea here is to not just operate off of your own assumptions or what you came up with in your persona workshop. Obviously, that's a great starting point. You brought different people from different teams together to do that, but you need to validate it still, right? And that means doing some interviews. Here's an example of some persona validation questions you know, you might use when setting up an interview to do some of this research. So I'm not gonna go through each one, but you can see there's you know, some participant background questions, questions around product experience and perception, question around goals and objectives, their pain points and so forth. So how do you do this? Well, you wanna create a list of validation questions in advance and then set up some interviews with customers and prospects if you can. I think a mix of both is really nice. People who are already familiar with your product and then people who have a kind of a clean slate and don't quite know what your product does. Another thing that I really find enriches this whole thing is to look up the job descriptions of your personas. So LinkedIn, ZipRecruiter, I don't know, whatever it is, go and look up what people are asking for when they have an open role that fits your persona. What are their goals? What are their objectives? What are they tasked to do? What does a day in the life look like for them? This really helps add some more rich detail as to what their day-to-day -day and job is like. And an Olivine pro tip is these interviews with customers, not, not prospects obviously, but with customers can double as a customer story. So while you're interviewing and validating about you know, some of these persona questions, especially if it's a customer who's been happy with your product, you, know, you can try to squeeze in a customer story out of this by asking them, you know, the challenge, the solution, and the outcome from using your product and really just kill two birds with one stone, which is always great. 